Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels good to be back. Uh, as most of you know, me and Nicole, we just had our baby daughter Sage a few months ago. I'm gonna insert, I'm sure, some pictures or video or something of how cute she is somewhere here. It's been a couple of months since I filmed. We decided to take a little bit of time off just to enjoy those first few months with Sage and it was really, really great. And now it's time to get back to work and start filming some videos. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do we save up for a down payment? And now since we have Sage, and we're gonna have to start saving for her future, for school, we're actually gonna start saving up to buy her her first investment property. So I can talk more about that in another video as to why we're gonna buy her an investment property instead of putting money into a you know education savings plan. If you wanna see that video, just leave a comment down below, let me know, and I'll be sure to film that. So I felt like it was a great time to film a video about tips on how to save money because that's what we're gonna have to do right now. So if you search online for tips on how to save money, you'll find hundreds and hundreds of different tips and tricks and stuff that people recommend, but I feel like that's a little overwhelming. So I'm just gonna take the top seven tips that I use to help save for down payments. So you can use all of these ideas, you can use some of these ideas, you can kind of pick and choose which one works best for you, but I highly recommend you start incorporating some of these into your saving strategies. That way you can get yourself closer to buying your first property. So my first tip is, it's not the most exciting, it's really the very basic thing you need to do and that's setting a budget. You need to figure out where your money's going each month, how much is coming in, how much is going out, where it's going. I don't know about you, but sometimes throughout the year, I sign up for this thing that's gonna charge me a couple of bucks a month. You know, you got Spotify charging you monthly, you got other things charging you monthly. So at least by setting up a budget and actually looking each month to see like, where's my money going? Where am I spending it? You can actually see, oh, maybe I can cut this out. Maybe I can cut that out and really start to work your numbers around so you can save more money and get closer to buying that home that you're looking for. Now, if you've never set up a budget before, I got you covered, don't worry. We created a free downloadable budget template. You can get it down below. So make sure you download that. And if you want me to do a whole video about how we do our budgeting and how to use that template and kind of break things down number by number, leave a comment down below and let me know and I'll be sure to do that. So my next tip is setting up a separate savings account and making sure you have an automatic transfer going into that savings account each month. Now the trick to this is to make sure that that savings portion goes out right at the beginning, the first thing, before you pay your rent, groceries and all that, because like a lot of people, if you wait to the very end and you're gonna put it aside after you cover your expenses, well, normally you find that your expenses will grow to the point where you're not gonna have savings anymore. So by putting it aside first, you can adjust your budget and adjust your spending habits to make sure that you're not accounting that money as part of the money that goes towards your monthly expenses. Now, another trick that you can do is most banks will allow you to have an account set up that you can't do anything to it unless you physically go into a branch and actually sign and do something with it. The good thing about this is that it forces you to actually physically have to go down to withdraw that money, which is probably gonna make you think twice before you do that. It's gonna make you rethink like, oh, do I really need to tap into my savings or is it more important that I'm just keeping that aside because my goal is to buy a home or whatever it is you're saving for. So that's another cool tip that you can use and this will help you from dipping into your savings or spending the money when you're really just wanting to keep it set aside. Don't touch it. Okay, so tip number three, I'm sure you've heard this a million times, it is cut out that daily coffee. I know I love my coffee too, I need it in the morning like anyone else, but instead of going out and buying coffee from Tim Hortons, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, wherever you get your coffee, make it at home, save yourself the money. If you look at the numbers, the average person spends over $1,200 a year on coffee. And if you break that down even further, the ages 24 to 35, which are the people who are probably saving up to buy a home, they spend over $2,500 a year on coffee buying those mocha, frappa, latte, chinos. So do the math. Depending on where you live, how much houses cost in your area, if you're using any government programs to help you buy a home, you could be saving for that down payment that you need in anywhere between two to five years. So cut out buying the coffee, make it at home. I know it's not as exciting. There are so many gadgets out there. You can buy a frother, you can buy some other tools to help you make your own barista style coffee at home for a fraction of the price. So don't go out, make your coffee at home, save the money. Tip number four is research before you buy. 
Nowadays, there are so many online stores selling the same product that if you just buy it from the first place you go to, likely you're not getting the best deal. So you really wanna make sure when you're looking to buy something that you're doing your research and finding the best price so you're spending, so you're maximizing your money as best you can. So a couple of tips that we use for this is, one thing that we do is whenever we see something on Amazon, we usually know that that comes from China. It's shipped over here. Someone resells it with a markup. So what we do is there's a site called AliExpress. It's not Alibaba, which a lot of people know, which is where people buy large quantities of product. AliExpress is a site where you can actually buy those same products, but like one or two of them. So if we see something on Amazon that we like, normally what I'll do is I'll copy that title, the description that they use for that product. I'll go to AliExpress. I'll paste it in there for search and I'll search and like nine times out of 10, I'm gonna find that product for what it's what it actually costs to make, which is a fraction, like a 10th of the cost of what someone else is gonna pay for it on Amazon. Another tip that I actually saw on Graham Stephan's channel, so great channel if you haven't found him before, go check him out, but a cool tip that he had is anytime he's gonna buy something, he sees something on a site that he wants to buy, he right clicks and there's an option that says Google search image. So what that will do is it'll actually bring up all the websites that use that same image for that product on their store. And it'll show you all the different stores or a bunch of different stores that are selling that same product. So you can just go through them and see what you can find because sometimes you're gonna see a sale, a discount, whatever it is. So you can look and do your research and make sure that you're getting the best possible price and using your money as wisely as possible. Now, that's a perfect segue to my next tip, which is don't buy something just because it's on sale. My biggest pet peeve is when I hear people bought something that they don't need, but they got it on sale and they say, guess how much money I saved. The reality is you didn't save money at all. You spent money. Unless you're saving money on groceries, toilet paper, other necessities that you need, that's true savings. But if you're just saving money on something that you didn't need, that you bought because it was on sale, that is not saving money, that is spending money. You just fell victim to good marketing. <laughs> so here's what I recommend you do. Next time you're going to buy something on sale, when you get to that cart and you see what the total price is that you're gonna pay, before you click that buy button, take that money from your account, transfer it over to your savings first. Wait a day or two and Maybe there's a good likelihood that when you see that money in your savings, you've let yourself calm down a little bit. You're gonna realize you didn't need that and it's better to have that money in the savings. So hopefully this is gonna help you buy extra stuff that you don't need, put that money towards savings and get you closer to your goals. Okay, so that brings me to tip number six, which is pay off your credit card bills as quickly as possible. So maybe if you weren't using my tip number five about not buying things because they're on sale, you might find that you have uh, a bit of a balance on your credit card. You really wanna make sure that you're paying that off as quickly as possible. Most credit cards now are charging about 20% in interest. So each month it's costing you a ton of money in interest. It's making the bank rich. It's not going towards your savings. It's not helping you get closer to your goals. So doing this is gonna benefit you in two ways. The first way is obvious. You're gonna save thousands of dollars in interest charges. It's making the credit card company rich and it's not helping you towards your goal. The second way that this is gonna help you is when you're looking to actually qualify for a mortgage and buy a home, the more debt you have, the harder it is to qualify for a mortgage. Plus, it usually means it's gonna help you get a lower amount of purchase price that you could have got if you would have had those debts cleared up. So do yourself a favor pay off those high interest debts as quickly as possible. That way you're gonna free up that money that you were paying in interest and you can use that money, double down on your savings account. It's like a snowball, it's gonna get you closer and closer to your goal and you're gonna see your savings grow quicker and quicker, which is gonna motivate you to save more and more. So that brings me to my final tip. Now this tip is not really a savings tip, but it is a strategy and a tip that you can use to hopefully help get you into a home sooner than later. And that is, to see if your town or city that you're in has a down payment assistance program. I actually did another video, which you can watch right here, that talks about how we use free government money to help us get into one of our first properties. In that video, there's actually a free download that you can get that talks all about different programs that you can get into. So go there, watch the video, download that free download, and see if any of these programs are in your area. If not, all you have to do is a quick search for down payment assistance program 
in the name of your town and you're likely to find something there. So I'm not gonna go too in depth into it because there's a whole video you can watch about everything that explains it and breaks it down for you. But basically what it is, is a lot of cities out there have programs that give you assistance towards a down payment when you're a first time home buyer, sometimes if you're a second time home buyer or third. So make sure you watch that video, see some strategies on how you can use government money to help get you into a home, which means you don't have to save as much because you've already got money from the government to help you get into a home quicker. So it is a bit of a savings tip because it's gonna help you get to your end goal, which is getting into a home as soon as possible. So there you have it, my seven tips on how to save money for a down payment. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope there's a couple of things that you can take away that are gonna make your life a little bit easier and better, get you closer towards your goals. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. We got a lot of great stuff coming up in the future. If you guys wanna see a video about budgeting or if you have any questions about budgeting or saving, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions down there. Thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you next week. Someone just woke up from their nap. Ooh, just talking about <laughs> you and how much money you're gonna cost us and <laughs> how we're gonna save money Aww. for this girl, buy you an investment property for your future. We're gonna go shopping, we're gonna buy all the clothes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See, Nicole doesn't live up to my rule number mm. six or five. Don't buy something just because it's on sale. Matt, guess how much money I saved. That's true, I do say that. <laughs> guess how much money I saved. It's going to be your first words. Daddy, guess how much money I saved you. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll let Daddy film okay. his next video. Bye-bye. Give a kiss. Give a kiss. <laughs> Cutie. Cutie.